In this week's video, I want to piggyback what I talked about in the previous week's video, which was what is value pricing? Now I want to talk about what are the two critical keys to pricing value? So once you've decided to move to a value pricing model, then it goes, okay, that's great, Eric. How do we deal with pricing? Now there's a whole methodology in the accountant success formula on how we set up your business model from the beginning. So you know exactly, you know, the number of clients you need, the price point, what the costing model will be, what your net income model will be. That's not what this specific email or email, that's not what this specific video is about. This video is just gonna go to what are the two key that you need to look at when you price value for a specific client okay we're gonna just talk about how you approach that and what there are is like I call it there's two specific keys and so these two keys uh, are there's quantitative there's quantitative value quantitative and qualitative so what do I mean by quantitative versus qualitative? Well, so this is what I'm talking about. So from a quantitative perspective, there's kind of three numbers that, you, that I like to look at. And first one is, and in no particular order here, is uh, the, the client's net worth, their revenue model, and their net income. So how does this tie into value pricing? Well, let me walk you through this. Let's say, for example, I'm going to work with a client and I'm going to give them a certain type of advice that's going to impact their business. So again, forget the billable hour model, just talk about the value that the client's receiving. Let's focus on that and say, what kind of value do they receive? Let's say I give them a piece of advice that saves them a certain amount of taxes. Now, if that advice was used by a client who had a net worth of $100, $100,000, let's just pick that silly number. So the client was worth $100,000 and they took my bit of advice and they applied it to their net worth of $100,000. Let's say that kicked out, um, just numbers for shits and giggles, we'll say at $1,000, let's say it was 1%. So it kicks out $1,000 of value to them, right? Well, what if the client was worth $100 million and they took my advice and it doesn't kick out $1,000 of value like it does with the $100,000 dollar net worth person, but it's a hundred million, that kicks them out one million dollars worth of value. So you see, the amount of time that I spent with both clients, the hundred million dollar client and the hundred thousand dollar client, the value they've derived from my advice or from my services are completely offside. So one one person makes gets a million dollars worth of value from me, and the other one gets a hundred or gets a thousand dollars worth of value from me. So from value pricing, if you're going to price the value, you look at what's the impact to the client, what's the value they're going to receive from it, and these three numbers are good indicators from that. Like what's their net worth, what's the revenue model in their business, what's the net income. So someone that's making a net income of say ten million dollars a year versus a uh, hundred thousand dollars a year number one they're going to have more bandwidth to pay you a higher price they're going to have more impact from the advice that you're giving them and so that's the quantitative side so we talk about the actual numbers which is what accountants are great at now the part that we're not so good at and i definitely wasn't when i first started doing value pricing i can guarantee you that but it gets easier over time and that's why I created the accountant success formula and that's why it's an executive coaching program and, and I, I walk with the firms that I'm with to show them the tra traps and pitfalls so that they can start getting on their legs and start getting more comfortable with this. This qualitative side is a little more difficult but it's once you start to get it, it's actually way more fun. When I talk about qualitative, it all comes down to the emotional side. What is the impact? How important is it to them? So let's take an example of, say, a client who's looking to sell his business. He wants to get his business. He wants to transfer it away. And so he's looking at um, transferring the business to his his daughter and he wants to trans they want to transfer the business to the daughter and it's really important to them that they, the daughter gets the business and then the the tax plan is correct and there's a lot of emotion around that because they want to keep it in the family so there's a lot of value there for that family as opposed to somebody else who just wants to uh, do the same, say say it's the exact same tax plan or it's the same advice you're going to give them, but they're just giving it to someone they don't know and they don't really care about it and really it's not a big deal to them because they've got a whole bunch of other businesses and it's, there's, no, there's no big deal. So what we're looking at here is the, the amount of qualitative value that's inherent in the transaction and and this is this takes a creative mind you have to start being very curious and creative and you have there's a way to have a conversation with the client which I 
again, teaching the accountant success formula, that draws out those values, those, that value of the transaction. So they actually see it. They, they're the ones that actually create the value because when you talk to them and you have the right client conversation, they start showing you the qualitative amount of how much this transaction means to them the one client that means so much more than the other ones, well, they're going to be willing to pay more for the price, more for the transaction than the other person would. So when you're going in and you're trying to decide on the value pricing on the pricing, you have to, you take into account these two specific keys. One is the quantitative analysis and the other one is a qualitative analysis. And once you get used to doing this, it becomes a lot of fun because what you become is curious. You want to find out where the value is from the client's perspective, what really matters to them. And so instead of them giving them canned responses and, and, and you're always looking for creative ways to create value and the more value you can create, as we talked about in the previous video, the more value you can create, as long as you're value pricing, you can get a higher price. If you're billing by the hour, it makes no difference. As I talked in this first uh, this first situation, if you're just charging a billable hour to this, both the clients, one's getting a million dollars worth of value, the other one's getting a hundred or a thousand dollars worth of value. You're leaving a ton of money on the table, and it's not fair and it's not right. So that's what I teach in the account success format. So that is the two keys to pricing value. I'm Eric Solbakken, reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.